Paul Newman, who featured in some of Hollywood's biggest movies, was one of the greatest performers of his time. Rising star Robert Redford and Paul Newman were cast in Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid, when Steve McQueen declined to act in the film. The 1969 film, which was based on actual outlaws, is regarded as one of the best westerns ever produced, and went on to win four Oscars. They reunited just four years later for the con artist film The Sting, but have you ever wondered how Hollywood celebrities got along on set? As Newman said, We have a lot of fun together, and we bounce off of one another really well. However, I would have much wanted to perform as Sundance. With that cooled-out quality, I feel a little more at ease. It's probably the simpler part. However, the upcoming biography of the celebrity actor reveals that there was also tense moments on production. The two actors, according to his autobiography, weren't actually pals back then. You can't count on Redford, according to Newman. You can never be certain he will show up. That is absolutely impolite. His youngest child, with Joanne Woodward, Claire Newman Soderlund, thinks that their disagreements were brought on by having different working styles. My father was a stickler for timing, and Bob never really excelled at it, she added. Dad has a lot of work to do. Because Bob was more of a free spirit, and he wanted to be good and successful, he worked really hard at it. He once disclosed a terrible rumour that pervaded their relationship. Paul was questioned about a bad rumour on archival from an interview from 1982. The filmmaker admitted that he never had the confidence to carry out the joke when he was asked by the Oscar-winning actor whether he possessed toilet paper with Robert's face on it. Paul portrayed Butch Cassidy in The Sundance Kid, in The Sting, and in the movie's Absence of Malice. He had a reputable reputation as a well-liked film star because to his performances he was also well known for his friendship with actor Robert. Together they appeared in a number of movies and deepened their bond. Paul addressed a rumour about them in a section of an interview that Talking Pictures aired. He has been questioned, would you like to definitely deny on television that you have a toilet roll with Robert Redford's face on it? I once heard a dreadful tale, the presenter said. Yes. Paul said after a brief pause, and what looked to be some thought, I never had the nerve to deliver it to his buddies, so I was left with one thousand rolls of this, he said. How does it appear? the interviewer inquired. Didn't you chance to bring a bit then? Shaking his head, Paul said, No, it's pretty awful. To begin with, it was a really horrible likeness. The interviewer, who evidently found the confirmed story humorous, inquired, Is it in the centre of the sheet? Paul smiled and said, Yes, to the host's question. So you still have them. The bond between Paul Newman and Robert Redford will never be forgotten. They remained close friends up until Newman's passing in 2008, demonstrating that their friendship extended beyond their on-screen connection. Their friendship serves as proof of the value of connections in the entertainment industry, and their legacy continues to inspire and have an impact on actors and filmmakers today. Click here to watch this video next!